full fluorescent fixture and what we've done is cut the ballast out those wires here feed tubes yellows feed tubes black and white were the um ac house current input to the old ballast got the wires identified um studied the wiring diagram here on this uh electronic ballast it's really way way too simple this is sheer genius whoever came up with this uh had to stop because I didn't have the right size uh, socket to get this out here. I'm going to take it out, but I'm not going to be able to film a lot of this with these glasses because I can't see. There's fine detail work here to do, and I need my prescription glasses on to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, that should turn now. Love a knurled extension. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but that's why. See, you can turn it. All right, old ballast is out. Pretty cool. Now, I just realized something about this. This could be interesting, but I want that. That ballast is probably a different length. I'll get the sad news right now and find out. I think I'll turn it that way. Yeah, you can do it any way you want to. That's the power going that way. So I'll turn it that way. That screw, hey, that fit. That's pretty good. It's all a fuzzy blur to me. And if those slide up in there, and that meets that hole. All right, hole, where are you? Just a little bit more can't see yeah that's what I was afraid of I'm gonna have to put wait a minute I think I found it yeah I'm gonna have to put my glasses on I can't see this or did I just hit it yeah I did it socket it. it other way impressive That's in call. That was impressive. All right. Yeah, I did that by feel. It's all just a blur to me without these glasses on. And I need to put them back on so I can see what I'm doing. But anyhow, there's a snapshot of the progress. So I'll stop filming and put my glasses back on so I can see. Uh, wired up. I've got to put the um, trim covers back on. It wasn't that difficult pretty easy as a matter of fact but um as far as having more light i don't the light temperature i'd say is a little wider the big plus of doing it there were two 40 watt bulbs in there meaning when that fixture was on it was consuming 80 watts of electricity now these two LED bulbs, according to the packaging here, uh, let's see, uses only 18 watts. But I've stared this over and over and over and over, and is it 18 watts per tube? Or is it the two tubes in this package uh, total 18 watts? I don't know. <laughs> it says it's going to save me uh, $106 a year. Well, I think I'll call the 1-800 number on here and get them to tell me. And they're probably going to say, well, it's 18 watts per tube. We wrote it on a package like that to make you think you were going to save a whole lot of money. Cost of power, cost of electricity is something that's just, you know, been going up and up and up. I remember 20 years ago when I first moved over here, my average electric bill was like $80. And I did what I wanted to. Ran the heat, ran the air, flipped on the lights, 
came down here and welded ran the welder whatever ever how you say that but my average electric bill now 20 years later is like a hundred and fifty dollars and it's starting to cause me to think about okay turn off a few lights and start thinking about these LED lights so anyhow but this thing I'm tickled to death with this this uh, yard light I like it a lot I was looking at it shining on my truck a while ago and it looked pretty cool I'll go uh, out there and give y'all a look see what glasses pick up to me I mean with this thing portable like it is and being able to move it around I'll be able to work on trucks and tractors and whatever needs to be worked on uh, at night these little drop dim trouble light things ain't worth a flip but, uh, I was pricing all this stuff and you can go and buy these just four foot fixtures with already you know ready to bring home and just hang it and plug it in the decent ones are about sixty four dollars the cheap crappy looking ones are uh, about forty eight dollars but the cost of the ballast was eighteen dollars and the cost of those tubes was fifteen dollars so that's about like thirty three dollars and then you got to have the knowledge something about understanding of something called electricity my daddy was an electrician I worked with him um, a couple of summers and he taught me I can wire most anything the instructions on the ballast it was just a little diagram I think if you can follow a block diagram you could do this if you wanted to anyhow it's it's going to save you know a lot of money on the electric bill be worth looking into well it's been soybean farmer everybody thanks for watching thanks for subscribing to my channel and i sure do enjoy your comments let me know what you think bye y'all